Today we'll go over the index of method and last index of method in JavaScript arrays. What index of does is it returns the first index at which a given element can be found in the array. If it can find, it will return negative 1. So here we have an array called ARR which has values from 1 to 4 and 1 to 4 again. So I'll create a variable called the result and then apply index of to this array. So it will be index of and then I'll search for 3. So it will begin the search and it will encounter 3 here and it should return the index of this array where it finds the number 3 which will be uh, 2. So if you print out the result you should see the value 2 which is the index of uh, this uh, uh, number 3. Result. Now save it and open it in your browser. As you can see it returned the value 2. Now if you were searching for let's say some value that wasn't here it will not find it in this array and it will return negative 1 as the result. So you save and open your browser again. Here you see a negative one. Also remember that uh, index of will attempt the search using strict equality, which is as if you had used the triple equal. Uh, comparison which will also compare the type of the value so let's say if I try searching for number two uh, string since this is a string and this is a number it won't match it it'll turn negative one so if you save and open your browser again you should see a negative one still As you can see here, now if I had used a number here without the quotes, then it will match to and return the index. So if you uh, modify the example now and just put the number, you should see one, that being the index of the first two it encounters. As you can see here. Now, along with index of there is also a last index of which you type like this last index of now if you start searching for two it'll search from the back and go this way to the front so this time it'll encounter the second to first which is the index uh, uh, five so it should return 5. So if you save and run your browser again, you should see the number 5. As you can see here, since the last index of works from uh, back to the front of the array. Now you can also provide a second value, which is the start index. So let's say if I had given it a value of 4 it will start its index from here going back since I'm using last index of so this time it will return 1 so if you save and open your browser again you should see 1 as you can see here now if I had used index of since that works from front to the back and since index 4 is this it'll search this portion of the array and this time it'll return uh, the index of the second so if you save and run again you should see 5 now
as you can see here so that's pretty much it for index of and last index of methods in JavaScript arrays. They just require the value you're searching for as the first argument and the second argument you can provide the index from which you want to search the array. If you have any questions do leave a comment. If you like this video remember to subscribe. Thank you.